everyone. Thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Market Show. Catching us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this content. So today I want to keep addressing some of the FAQs that we get. So here's one that we hear quite often when we're meeting with clients. Do I own my website? Wow. That's a crazy question because if you hire a developer to develop your website, you need to read the contract. More often, more times than not, if you hire a reputable WordPress development company, you will own your website. You will own all the development that happens for you, all the custom dev, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's a caveat. <clears throat> if you work with one of these big box marketing companies, you know, uh, I have a couple in mind, don't really want to throw out their names, but all of these, you know, pay $99 a month or pay $199 a month, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll build you a free website. Here's the thing. You have to pay that dollar amount in perpetuity for you to have that website work for your business. So read the contract very, very carefully because in more times than not, you do not own your website. So the moral of the story here is, if you work with a reputable development company, ask the question, do I own my website? They should almost always say, yes, you own your own website. We are being hired to build you a site, to build you a property. It's no different than if somebody is building you a house. Do you own the house? Yes. So it's the same principle. But if you're working with one of these other companies that try to lock you in long term or lock you into a different platform or try to lock you into like contracts, things like that. Ask the question, do I own my website? And then if they say yes, say at what point do I own my website? When will I own my website? What do I need to do to break free and have somebody else work on my website? You have to ask all these questions because it is tied up in legalese and fine print to make things confusing. So Work with a reputable WordPress developer on your websites. Work with, you know, a, a marketing firm that you trust. Work with independent ones whenever you can, because then you're going to avoid this altogether. Hey, thanks for checking us out. More bonus episodes of The New Marketing Show can be found at trinitywebmedia.com slash Apple Podcasts, or you can catch us on Instagram TV, YouTube, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, all that good stuff. So, hey, thanks for checking this out.